After COVID, my family made the decision to pack up and leave the city to homestead in a ghost town in one of the coldest and most remote places in the lower 48. We purchased an old abandoned church in the hopes of turning it into our dream home. The challenge of remodeling has escalated as we adjust to an unforgiving climate with winter wind reaching 40 below zero. As we headed forward in the renovation process, we were most excited to turn the old clergy office into our master bedroom. Little did we know that there would be some disappointing surprises that would put us months behind schedule. Got on my Amazon to check my orders and it looks like all the rest of the materials I need to finish the master bedroom will be arriving today. So I've got to start on the demo process of that room. There's not a lot of demo in there. There's a lot of trim that needs to be taken down. And for some reason, throughout this entire building, there's lots of nails and screws and tacks in the walls everywhere. Even behind me, I think nails. They're all over. Another one. These ones are easy to pull out. We've already done a lot of work throughout this entire building, but most of it has been just like basic living. Uh, things that are really kind of third world problems like access to water, then having hot water, and then having water that we can actually drink. And so far we've been having to haul in our water that we drink, but hopefully this week um, we'll get the rest of the filters we need so we can actually have clean running water. While prepping the ceiling, I uncovered the first of several horrifying discoveries. Black mold, and lots of it.
big part of our journey was to try to get clean drinking water. At first, the difficulty was trying to get any water to this building. And we finally got water, we finally had to fix the pipes, and then we needed to get hot water. Hot water for cleaning, hot water for cleaning ourselves. Um, and our last step was to get drinking water. Up until now, we've been hauling in all of our own water. And we installed the pump and about, uh, about a week ago, and then our filters came in. We had to clean up the system. And then every night, what we're going to need to do until we can figure out a better solution is we actually have to turn on a pump at nighttime to pump the water to our system so that we have drinking water during the day. And so that's going to be one of the nightly chores is to turn on the water pump. So we have watered out. We have drinking water now. Um, okay, let, let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. I think it's um, just what else can go wrong kind of a thing. What if it's... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to play the what if game. Just going to hope for the best here. Okay. You want to try some first? <laughs> okay. water. It's clear. I don't taste anything weird. It actually tastes really clean. That's really good. Okay. We have water. We're going to be okay. Uh, as long as we turn on the pump every night, we'll have water. After pulling apart the ceiling and for, because of the mold, there's definitely uh, some mold up in the rafters and the insulation so that needs to be torn out. And then we need to see if we can seal off the crack to the outside so the flies don't come in because there's pretty much a fly hatchery up there that we're going to fumigate this room before we put anything back up. So it's going to be fun. But yeah, it's not too bad. It's, good. it's not a horrible project because it's a time to be one. Yeah. So, I was hoping to decorate today and move in tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. Not a chance. Yeah. I don't even know how we're going to get this right here. I know. I know. I'm sorry, love. Well, I mean, it's safe. Yep. I love you. I sent you a picture. Its head came off. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh my goodness. There's its head. No wonder. No wonder. This is my bedroom right now. historical buildings for a while. We found a couple that we liked. I even flew to the other side of the country and looked at a whole bunch and found one that I totally fell in love with. 
but after we got the inspection report back, we realized that, I mean, Too much. we know that it's going to be a lot of work, but this one was, I mean, it was falling apart, and uh, it, it would not have been cost, it would have been cheaper for us to tear it down and start all over again, and we didn't want to do that because we wanted to maintain some of the history. You actually found this church in the first place. Yes. Uh, good old Zillow. <laughs> yeah. And we looked at a lot of places all over the place. But when we had our list of locations, we kind of narrowed it down and, you know, you wanted a church, so. Yeah, it's always been my dream to renovate an old historical church. It's always been one of those things in the back of my mind that would be fun to do if we had the opportunity and guess what the opportunity came. We got the inspection report back on this place and of course there's lots and lots of problems. It's a 120 year old building. However, churches are built to be, to, to last. Like it has a great foundation, it has really good bones, it's very outdated and um, there's a lot of half finished projects. Yeah, some half, <laughs> some less than half. Some more than half. So it feels more like a booby trap. And I told our real estate agent that if I would have known all of the problems, like once we get into it and we start working on products, I probably would have run away. But I'm so glad we didn't because the more that I'm here, the more I'm falling in love with this location. Yeah, overall, really great experience and it's going good. But we're having so much fun. <laughs>